Welcome. This is what is happening on the sun today, the 23rd of July, 2011. 39 years ago this day, the United States launched the first Earth Resources satellite. It took iconic pictures of the surface of the Earth like the one shown here of the San Francisco Bay Area. So today's trivia question is, what was the name of that series of satellites and how many of them were launched? The answer will be given at the end. Once again, according to the GOES X-ray plot, we have a brain-dead sun with a few minor B flares. So let's take a look at the sunspot regions and see what's been going on. We still only have three numbered regions on the sun, so no new regions have emerged or come over the east limb. All three regions have shown signs of decay. 1251 is going over the limb and it will be gone by tomorrow. 1254 is decayed. The leading part of that region which uh, we were talking about yesterday has almost disappeared entirely. And it seems that 1250 looks as though it's been decayed significantly overnight as well. So it's perhaps not surprising that the background level in, in the x-ray plot has dropped to the B1 level. Now let's take a look at the evolution of these regions using the data from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. First we'll take a look at the Sunspot movie. And here I'd like you to concentrate on the decay of these two regions marked with the red arrows. At the beginning of the 48 hour period both regions look fairly substantial. However by the end they are much smaller, weaker and with fewer spots. Now in the Magnetic movie I'd like you to concentrate on a different region. At the end of the sequence a small region starts to appear in the northeast. Keep an eye and see how that develops because that's coming up very quickly and could turn into a major region if the growth continues. In the Transition Region movie, there are two areas I'd like you to keep an eye on. One is the southeast limb where there's quite a spectacular eruption and the other one is in the southwest limb where the prominence that I was talking about several days ago uh, looks as though it's beginning to become unstable and could erupt any time soon. So we'll keep an eye on both of those areas. I've made a much more detailed movie of the prominence eruption off of the southeast limb. It starts with the loops rising from the prominence and then just drifting vertically away from the sun. This is quite unsimilar to the ones that we've seen in the past where you have these eruptions and a lot of material falling back towards the sun. That doesn't seem to happen so much here. I've created a second movie of what is called a coronal jet. You'll see in this movie that a small region brightens and a plume material is fired out into the corona at very high speeds. I particularly like these because I did a study of these when I was back in Japan working on the Yoko program where these jets were discovered. In the low temperature coronal movie I'd like you to concentrate on the area near the northeast limb. There are some very high loops there which means there's probably a region behind the northeast limb that will be due back in the next day or so. In the high temperature coronal movie let's concentrate once again on the coronal holes. The influence of the coronal hole near the west limb is obviously waning as we shall see later but there's a small one in the southwest which I think is too small and too high a latitude to really have very much effect on us and then there's a, quite a large one in the northeast but that won't affect us for several days. Given the state of the SOHO data I've put together the best movie I can using Helio Viewer. There doesn't seem to be very much going on in terms of a uh, coronal mass ejection however note at the beginning of the movie that the support for the occulting disk is in the top right and by the end it's in the bottom left. So they've rotated the spacecraft by 180 degrees and this will explain some of the strange views that you'll be getting from the chronograph for the next few days until they have all their algorithms properly corrected. And so ignore all the YouTube videos claiming that this is some strange UFO or Nibiru or whatever. It's just a rotation of the spacecraft. ACE tells us about the conditions in the solar wind and we can see the density and the temperature remain relatively constant for the last 24 hours but as we predicted the uh, speed of the solar wind has been dropping steadily over that period as that coronal hole moves away from uh, direct contact with the Earth. The high energy electron flux measured at um, geosynchronous altitude shows it's been very high for the last few days probably due to the high speed coronal wind stream that we've been in for the last couple of days. And not unsurprisingly the proton flux has remained very low as we've had no major flares. The auroral zone looks fairly agitated still and in fact there have been some aurora noted near the south pole. There are some lovely pictures of them in the spaceweather.com uh, archive. Here is just an example. The KP index has remained relatively quiet varying between 1 and 3. So in summary then the x-ray background has dropped to the B1 level, the sunspot number is reduced to 54, radio sun intensity is dropped to 92 solar flux units, 
solar wind speed has dropped to 570 km per second with a density of about one proton per cubic centimeter and geospace conditions are considered quiet. My forecast for the next 24 hours is that the chance of sea flares are poor and the chance of MRX flares is really remote. Sunspot number will remain relatively low. We still have a good chance of coronal mass ejections. So the wind speed will probably go a bit lower. But the chances of getting a major geomagnetic storm in the next 24 hours is really low. In the longer term, we can see that we have four regions coming over the northeast limb over the next four days. And also we have the growth of that new region in the northeast. So there may be some prospects for an increase in activity in a day or two. If you want to find out more about what's going on in the sun, follow some of the links in the description box below. If you want to see earlier editions of the sun today, go to my channel, they're all listed there. Oh yes, the trivia question, I nearly forgot. The name of the satellite series is Landsat. There have been seven Landsats launched. However, Landsat 6 didn't make it to orbit, so there have been six that have been actually taking data. Anyway, that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.